hello everyone today's art journal prompt is circles and um, I'm going to be working on watercolor paper today because I want to use some spray inks and watercolors and quite a lot of liquid so I'm using watercolor to try and cut down on the warping now I'm going to start off by stamping some circles using various um, bottle lids and and round tools I'm going to use this large one first this is from um, oh gosh you know the stuff that you put in your, your washing machine to make your clothes smell nice I've forgotten what it's um, called Sam loves it Sam just loves smell right I'm going to stamp that one here I think um, let's just hope I get um, a good impression because I'm using watercolor paper which is quite quite bumpy um, then we'll have whoops Daisy I've just stamped myself we'll have another one over here I think I'm going to double stamp that one because this is a much finer lid than the other one. Oh, quite like that. I might do it again actually. Oh, there we go. Yep, I like that. Then I want another one down here. Oh, that one hasn't stamped very well, has it? Let's try it again. doesn't have to be perfect let's just try pressing down a little bit um, harder that will do let's try it one more time there we go that's fine and then I think I'm going to use this one to connect my circles I think I'm happy with that. I am going to add a couple more as well. For me, it's just getting the composition right. Sorry, I hope I'm not wobbling the table there. And then I think we'll have another one up, up here. And I think I'm happy with, with that got some of these brush covers these are the protectors that protect your bristles on on your brushes and these are great for making marks so I'm going to use this really fine one here and where do I want these to go I think I want some down here to start off with and I want all my circles um, connected I like that then I think I want some over here. Yep, liking, liking that. And then I think I'd like a third set as well. Where do I want those to go? I think it's going to go at the top here. Can you hear the wind outside? It's a really, really blustery day here today. I'm going to add some here as well. Try not to overdo it, Nina. Oh, good grief. Of course, me with circles. Once I start, I can't stop. And then I'm going to have a few here. Just to, you know, balance everything out. I like that. That's... That's fine. Okie dokie. Let me have a think about what I want to do I next. I want to add some embossed circles next. And I'm going to use this Dilution Circle um, stamp here. Um, let me just So I've got my embossing in ink pad in clear. Where do I want to add those? Hmm, I think I want some here, like that. And then maybe some here and some there. And I've got a piece of A4 paper, as you can see, sort of underneath just to catch um, any of the excess embossing powder. I'm using the Seafoam White Embossing Powder. If I can remember where I put these circles, where did they go? Of course, you can't see them. 
Right, let's tip off the excess, see how that looks. Yep, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to pour this back into the container and then I shall dry this with my heat gun. Right, I'm happy with that. I don't know whether you can see the embossed circles that have been left behind. And I've chosen my paint as well. I'm in a right mess because the purple one I'm going to use has just gone absolutely everywhere as I've shaken up the, the mica. I want to use my Radiant Rains. Um, some of you know that I have problems with these. The sprays don't work very well. So I'm going to use it as a watercolour because the amount of mica that's in these is just gorgeous. They're so shimmery. So I'm using this one here, which is um, pink grapefruit. I'm using this one, which let me just grab a piece of tissue look at the mess that this one has made as I've shaken it it just went everywhere this one is oh I can't even <laughs> snap dragon I think it is I can't even see the um, label on it anymore it's covered with ink and this is one of the um, dabbers but again um, I'll give this a shake before I use it and I'm going to use that one as a watercolour as well and I'm also going to use some of the um, Ducrafts Do Artiste Spritzing ink which again is full of mica and this one is white but I'm going to start off with this pink um, grapefruit pink grapefruit yeah pink grapefruit to start off with so I've just stirred it with a skewer um, and I'm just going to use a, a paintbrush just to apply um, some colour where do I want that to go And this was why I'm using watercolour this week because um, of the amount of liquid um, that I want to use. Can you see the mica? You can see it better when it, um, when it dries. And you'll be able to see the um, embossing sort of much better as well um, once, it's all, once it's all dried. And if I end up with a split a few splashes like I have done there, that's, that's fine. I'm not particularly worried about, about that. And I'm going to add the three colours to, to this and try and sort of mix it, mix it up a bit. I'm not too worried if I end up going slightly outside the lines. Let's, um, I want plenty of pigment on, on this as well. There we go, that should, that should do there. Add a bit more down here. Where shall I add this one? course I want to leave room for some of the other colours as well there we go and then I think I shall add a little bit of the white next let me just move that out of the way in fact I'll put the lid back on for the time being so that I don't end up spilling it and making it a bigger mess let me just have a slurp of my coffee as well oh I've drunk it all it's all gone um right white next let me give this a shake but again, this is just full of, of mica as well. So we'll add some of, some of this. It's so pretty. I don't know whether you'll be able to pick up the pearl until it's, until it's dried. Just gorgeous. Leaving room for some of the purple. I want more of the pink and the white. Um, just because the purple is just really, really heavily pigmented and I don't want it to overpower um, the page. Add a bit of the white there and then I'm going to add some of the purple. So let me just stick the lid back on. Hang on, let me just wrap this in a kitchen towel in case I end up with another disaster. I've even sprayed my walls, guys. That's how bad, that's how bad it was. So I'm going to have to go and get the paint pots out um, later <laughs> before Steve sees it and has an absolute fit. Oh, good grief. Never a dull moment. And so then I'm just going to add the purple just in the remaining space. Okay, so that's what um, I've got and what I want to do now is spray this with a spray bottle just to get those colours to mingle. Oh, just look how pretty this is. It's just gorgeous. I just love that. And I am going to zap that with my heat gun. I'm just going to squirt it a little bit just to try and get those just to spread out just a, just a tad.
you can see the directions that I'm trying to get them to spread in and I'm going to hit that with my with my heat tool. I started drying that and I ended up with a bit more purple than um, I wanted and where it's sort of really pulled I'm just sort of pulling it up with a towel as well and which one did I use for the pink grapefruit? I want to add just a little bit more of the pink grapefruit, hang on let me just um, in fact it should be stirred enough so I'm just going to add a little bit more of that just here. I just feel as if the um, purple has just overpowered things a little bit um, and I think I want to add a bit more of that pearl as well. So you know I'm just playing around with this until I get the balance of colours um, that I'm happy with. There we are. And that should, let's try, let's try that. That I haven't got enough colour where these little dots are, so I'm just picking up the leftover ink. There we are, from um, the mat like that, and I'm just adding it over the over the top, just to add a little bit of detail there, and that's fine, just so that you can um, see them. I just I just really like how that looks, and again, I shall just give this um, a dry. I absolutely love that background. It's just gorgeous. Just I don't know whether you can pick up the shimmer. The colours are just beautiful, and I just love how it's it's turned blue as the colours have mingled together. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. What I want to do now is make some embellishments. Um, I'm going to make some hearts. So I've got just a piece of regular cardstock here, and I am going to freehand cut some hearts and I want a couple of different sizes in fact I want three different sizes I want one large one so I'm just eyeballing this freehand cutting it I can see there that I've got sort of like a bump let's get rid of that so mm, that's a little bit too too big so if you cut it out and um, you know you're not quite happy with it just Just go around it again. Let's have a look. See, yes, that's a bit better. So I've got one there. Um, let's cut another one out. Yeah, I like the shape of that one. Let me just fold my paper over because I want one more. Let's try and do a small fat one. There we go. I think that will that will do do fine. Right, I've kept fiddling with my hearts because I just still felt that they weren't quite right. So I've chopped that one down and made that one smaller, um, and I've made that one slightly narrower as well, so that it's not quite as fat. So I'm going to put that to one side for the time being, and then I've got just a piece of leftover mixed media paper just from one of my other journal pages. And what I am going to do now is I've got the purple, um, which I'm <laughs> going to try and not. Make Make a huge horrible mess with and I've also dug out this majestic blue as well so let me just give this a shake and the reason I'm using the blue as opposed to the pink is because of the blue that's going on in the background of course this is made of blue um, I'd quite like to, to use that I don't want too much of the pink because it will become too samey let me just put something on the top of this one because it leaks like mad um, give this one a shake too because I want to use some of the pearl um, so I am going to add some of the purple and there we go and then we can add some of the blue overlap that I want a bit more of the and I'm wondering whether I should put just a little touch of the, the pink in there. Let me just see if I can spray it. If it sprays, then we'll have some. If it decides to play up, then oh, let's just take the lid off. See what I mean? Let's just add a little bit um, in there, not too, not too much. And the reason I'm working on my glass mat this week is because it's just going to make it much, much easier for me to 
clean up because it just wipes straight off and then I am going to spray all over this to mingle these colours with this white. And then I've got a paintbrush here to the ready and I'm just going to mix those colours colours up a bit and then I shall go away and give this a dry and tidy up this um, hot mess that I've got going on as well. I want lots of marbling, just love that. I want a bit more of the pearl in, in there and I think I want to add a bit more of that pink on top as well. Here we go, I've gone from not wanting any at all to now adding adding more. And again, let's try and mingle things up. And I'm going to give this a dry. Right, okay, so my card is now dry. I just absolutely love those colours. That was exactly what I was after. And what I'm going to do now, this is thoroughly dry. I'm going to flip it over um, and I'm going to draw around as many of these circles as I can to make some, uh, not circles, these, these hearts. Before I cut them out, I just wanted you to see how many hearts I've managed to squeeze onto this piece of paper. And my advice is as well, use a thicker piece of card stock than the one I used because um, this was just a bit too flimsy. Right, I've cut all of my hearts out. I think these are absolutely gorgeous and I think they're going to work really well um, with my page as well. But what I want to do, um, you've seen me do this before, I want to ink around the edges of the page just to try and sort of bring the focus into the centre and I'm going to do exactly the same with the hearts as well. I'm going to use some of the archival ink around all my hearts and that's what they look like. I think they're gorgeous and I just think the inking just makes such a, a big difference just sort of you know really makes them stand out a lot more but first of all what I want to do let me just bring my page back let's just in fact I want to move those away that's how my page is looking at the moment and I just love it but I think it needs some black splatters I was thinking that the black border would bring um the black rings together but I think it needs a bit more and I want to add some black splatters and I'm going to cheat I am going to use my Posca paint pen um, so I've given it a good shake um, and then I've just activated it by pressing it down just to start releasing that ink and I am just going to splatter and just get I want another bigger blob down here and I'm just going to do this until I'm happy with the amount of splats that I've got going on. I don't want too many, I don't want to spoil it. I've made sure that my black splatters are completely dry and I just want to assemble my page. I think I'm going to have it something like this. I've just been having a play. Um, I think these are the hearts I want to use. In fact, I think I might have one there, maybe one of the smaller ones, I don't know. Um, this is always the hardest part, just working out where you want things to go. No, that one definitely looks better up, up there. I think I want it to go something like that. And then my um, quote for this week, a family is a circle of strength. Go on, get off my finger. Every joy shared adds more love. Every crisis shared together makes the circle stronger and I just love that. So I'm just going to have a play um, around with my positioning and glue things down. So here's this week's finished page. I'm really happy with the way that this page has turned out. Um, I did end up adding a couple more details just in this area here. I don't know whether you can tell. I added a um, bottle lid circle in black and a few more of the embossed dots. I just embossed, um, put the, the embossing ink um, and powder and just removed it from the heart as well so that it looks as if the circles are coming from underneath and that's just balanced it out in this area here. So I look forward to seeing how everybody else decides to interpret this week's prompt circles and I hope you like the page that I've created here too. I'd really appreciate a thumbs up as always because it just lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your comments and take care everyone. I'll see you all again soon.
Bye for now.